During our adoration this morning, on this feast of our patroness, St. Dorothy, our teachers, parents, student body, and faith community, and those who visit us online of St. Dorothy Catholic Church, invite you into prayer as we give glory and praise to God and reflect on the life of St. Dorothy herself. We begin by turning our attention to the bread of life present in the Eucharist today as we sing Pan de Vida a song that beckons all of us to come to the table and receive God's love and mercy into our lives.
St. Dorothy of Caesarea is the patron saint of brides, florists, and gardeners. She refused to deny her faith, was tortured by the governor, and ordered to be executed. It is said that on the way to her place of execution, she met a young lawyer named Theophilus, who mockingly asked her to send him fruits from the Garden of Heaven, where she proudly said she would soon be. When she knelt for her execution, she prayed and an angel with a basket of three roses and three apples appeared. She sent the basket to Theolophilus, telling him that she would meet him in the heavenly garden. After her death in 311 AD, Theophilus converted to Christianity and later was martyred. Her legend is kept alive to this day in churches such as this one that bear her name. Let us now pause and turn to her in hopes that she may intercede for us as we seek to imitate her example of a steadfast and relentless faith in God. Father of mercy, St. Dorothy Catholic Community and School has withstood the test of time, educating students for college, career, and heaven for over 60 years. We gather here as your faithful family in your presence to recognize that our continued success and longevity stems from your goodness and mercy, particularly in times of trial and hardship. We praise you for blessing us with the students, teachers, staff, and faith community, and those who visit us online that have grown closer to you in our classrooms, in our church, and on our campus. We now pause to pour out our praise to you, our Heavenly Father, from whom all blessings flow. Let us continue in prayer as we recite the luminous mysteries. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, 
and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us recite three Hail Marys for faith, hope, and love. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened and he saw the Spirit of God descending, like a dove and lighting on him. And a voice came from heaven, and a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. All right. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of mercy. Ave, ave, ave. the second luminous mystery, the wedding of Cana. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. When the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, they have no more wine. Dear woman, why do you involve me, Jesus replied. My time has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Nearby stood six stone water jars, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washings, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. They did so, and the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from though the servants who had drawn the water knew. Then he called the bridegroom aside and said, everyone brings out the choice wine first and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink, but you have saved the best till now. This, the first of his miraculous signs, Jesus performed in the Cana of Galilee. He thus revealed his glory and his disciples put their faith in him. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. The time has come, he said, the kingdom of God is near. Repent and believe the good news. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to the us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. The fourth luminous mystery, the Transfiguration. About eight days after Jesus said this, he took Peter, John, and James with him and went up onto a mountain to pray. 
As he was praying, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became as bright as a flash of lightning. Two men, Moses and Elijah, appeared in glorious splendor <clears throat> talking with Jesus. They spoke about his departure, which he was about to bring to fulfillment at Jerusalem. Peter and his companions were very sleepy, but when they became fully awake, they saw his glory and the two men standing with him. As the men were leaving Jesus, Peter said to him, Master, it is good for us to be here. Let us put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He did not know what he was saying. While he was speaking, a cloud appeared and enveloped them, and they were afraid as they entered the cloud. A voice came from the cloud saying, This is my son, whom I have chosen. Listen to him. When the boys had spoken, they found that Jesus was alone. The disciples kept this to themselves and tell no one at that time what they had seen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive us and not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now is the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now is the hour of Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now is the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now is the hour of death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now is the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now is the hour of death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now is the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now is the hour. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our sins, sins. Save, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, 
and gave it to his disciples saying, take it, this is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks and offered it to them and they all drank from it. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. He said to them, I tell you the truth, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it anew in the kingdom of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to him, especially those most in need of mercy. Ave, Ave. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy own Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made mindful of God. Let us pray. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen.
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gush forth for souls 
and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. 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 Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us in the whole world. Closing prayer. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself. Amen. St. Faustina praises a divine mercy. The love of God is the flower. Mercy is the fruit. After each invocation, please respond with, I trust in you. Divine mercy, gushing forth from the bosom of the Father. Divine mercy, greatest attribute of God. Divine mercy, incomprehensible mystery. Divine mercy, fountain gushing forth from the mystery of the most blessed Trinity. Divine mercy, unfathomed by intellect, human or angelic. Divine mercy, from which wells forth all happiness of life. Divine mercy, better than the heavens. Divine mercy, source of miracles and wonders. Divine mercy, encompassing the whole universe. Divine mercy, descending to earth in the person of the incarnate word. Divine mercy, 
which flowed out from the open womb of the heart of Jesus. Divine mercy enclosed in the heart of Jesus for us and especially for sinners. Divine mercy unfathom in the institution of the sacred host. Divine mercy in the founding of Holy Church. Divine mercy in the sacrament of holy baptism. Divine mercy in our justification through Jesus Christ. Divine mercy in accompanying us through the whole universe. Divine mercy embracing us, especially at the hour of death. Divine mercy endowing us with immortal life. Divine mercy accompanying us every moment of our life. Divine mercy shielding us from the fire of hell. Divine mercy in the conversion of hardened sinners. Divine mercy, astonishment for angels, incomprehensible to saints. Divine mercy, unfathomed in all the mysteries of God. Divine mercy, lifting us out of every misery. Divine mercy, source of our happiness and joy. Divine mercy, in calling us forth from nothingness to existence. Divine mercy, embracing all the works of his hands. Divine mercy, crown of all God's handiwork. Divine mercy, in which all are immersed. Divine mercy, sweet relief for anguished hearts. Divine mercy, only hope of despairing souls. Divine mercy, repose of heart, peace amidst fear. Divine mercy, delight and ecstasy of holy souls. Divine mercy, inspiring hope against all hope. A daily prayer for the grace to be merciful towards others. O most holy trinity, as many times as I breathe, as many times as my heart beats, as many times as my blood pulsates through my body, so many thousand times do I want to glorify your mercy. I want to be completely transformed into your mercy and to be your living reflection, O Lord. May the greatest of all divine attributes, that on your infallible mercy, pass through my heart and soul to my neighbor. Help me, O Lord, that my eyes may be merciful, so that I may never suspect or judge from appearances, but look for what is beautiful in my neighbor's souls and come to their rescue. Help me that my ears may be merciful, so I may give heed to my neighbor's needs and not to be indifferent to their pains and moanings. Help me, O Lord, that my tongue may be merciful, so that I should never speak negatively of my neighbor, but have a word of comfort and forgiveness for all. Help me, O Lord, that my hands may be merciful and filled with good deeds, so that I may do only good for my neighbors and take upon myself the more difficult and toilsome task. Help me that my feet may be merciful, so that I may hurry to assist my neighbor, overcoming my own fatigue and weariness. My true rest is in the service of my neighbor. Help me, O oh Lord, that my heart may be merciful, so that I myself may feel all the sufferings of my neighbor. I will refuse my heart to no one. I will be sincere even with those who I know will abuse my kindness. 
I will lock myself up in the most merciful heart of Jesus. I will bear my own sufferings in silence. May your mercy, O Lord, rest upon me. You yourself command me to exercise the three degrees of mercy. The first, the act of mercy, of whatever kind. The second, the word of mercy. If I cannot carry out a work of mercy, I will assist by my words. The third prayer, if I cannot show mercy by deeds or words, I can always do so by prayer. My prayer reaches out there, even there, where I cannot reach out physically. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. to me go You have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memory of your suffering and death. May I worship the sacrament of your body and blood 
Help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of your kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever.
Let us pray the divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most blessed blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paclet. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in His angels and His saints.
please stand? Thank you for your attendance this morning. At this time, we're going to take a brief pause while the clergy prepares for Mass. We ask that you remain in silent prayer or meditation, and Mass will begin in about 15 minutes. Thank you.
Good morning. Welcome to the celebration of the feast day of the patroness of our parish, Dorothy of Cappadocia. Cappadocia was a fourth century city in Asia Minor in what is now the nation of Turkey. Dorothy was one of many Christians brought before the Roman judge, Sapricius, because of their belief in Jesus Christ. Legend has it that when the judge saw her, he sent everyone out from the courtroom. Turning to Dorothy, he said, I want to help you, Dorothy. You are too beautiful to die for some silly god. Take these few grains of incense and burn them before the idol of a Roman god. Do this, and I shall let you go at once. When Dorothy refused, the judge threw her into prison, where she was beaten and burned with torches. That evening, when Dorothy had been put to, get, put to death, Theophilus, who was eating and drinking with friends, telling them of his comments to the young girl. Hardly had he finished speaking when a child appeared, spreading out a cloth and handing the governor three apples and three blossoms from the tree of paradise. He was instantly converted, declaring, the God in whom Dorothy believed is the true and only God. Her feast is celebrated on the day on which she suffered a martyr's death. She is the patron saint of gardeners and florists. Her body is kept in the ancient church which bears her name in Rome. We honor her today with flowers and fruit placed around her statue in her memory. I would like to just remind everyone to please take out your cell phones or any other electronics you have and please turn them off or silence them so they do not disturb our liturgy. Our presider today is our pastor, Father Ron, and our gathering song is Let Us Rejoice in the Lord. Please stand.
saints and the angels. My brothers and sisters, what an incredible day it is. What a beautiful day on this, the feast of St. Dorothy, our patroness. Um, it was rough, roughly 63 years ago that um, our church was came to be full. The people branched out from um, St. Francis of Rome and Azusa and brought um, the Mass here. Father Duggan, I believe, was the one who, who first initiated that um, those, those masses at the beginning here. So today we celebrate this glorious celebration um, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and communion with the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us now take a moment to call to mind our sinfulness and therefore prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who brought your martyr, blessed Dorothy, to overcome the torments of her passion, grant that we who celebrate the day of her triumph may remain invincible under your protection against the snares of the enemy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. It happened that seven brothers with their mother were arrested and tortured with whips and scourges by the king to force them to eat pork in violation of God's law. One of the brothers, speaking for the others, said, What do you expect to achieve by questioning us? We are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our ancestors. At the point of death, he said, You accursed fiend, you are depriving us of this present life, but the king of the world will raise us up to live again forever. It is for his laws we are dying. After him, the third suffered their cruel sport. He put out his tongue at once when told to do so and bravely held out his hands as he spoke these noble words. It was from heaven that I received these. For the sake of his laws, I disdain them. From him I hope to receive them again. Even the king and his attendants marveled at the young man's courage because he regarded his sufferings as nothing. The word of the Lord. Who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. When the Lord brought back captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those who sow in tears shall reap. 
deep rejoicing. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. Those who sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. A reading from the letter to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, through the law, I died to the law, that I might live for God. I have been crucified with Christ, yet I live, no longer I, but Christ lives in me. Insofar as I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who has loved me and given himself up for me. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord,
The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. When Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, at times, it seems that life can be quite daunting. First thoughts were that the pandemic might last a few weeks, definitely not into the summer. The NBA canceled their, session, their season on March 11th, 2020. Other cancellations and closures soon followed. Here we are some 23 months later, still wearing masks, in church. We watch as our world moves from Christian believers into the realm of what Bishop Barron calls the nuns, those not affiliated with any religious faith at all. Pew Research shows that self-identified Christians make up about 63 percent of the U.S. population. It's down from 75% just 10 years ago, which was down then. The trend continues on a downward slope. Can you imagine the sense of anguish, sense of desolation, or even hopelessness that the disciples must have found themselves in after the death of their friend? after the death of the Lord. It is here that we meet them today in the last chapter of Matthew. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary had just encountered an angel at the tomb who told them that Jesus had risen from the dead and that they were to go quickly and tell the disciples the same. They were also to tell them that Jesus would go to Galilee before them. As they hurried home, the women met Jesus along the way. They embraced him and worshiped him. Jesus told them to tell the disciples to go to Galilee and he would meet them there. They did just that. And my guess is the excitement and conviction in their hearts must have been a little bit over the top because we found that in the midst of their difficulties that the disciples actually listened. They went. They went to Galilee and it was on the mountain that they encountered Jesus once again. But it says, even as they worshipped them, they doubted. In the midst of their doubt, Jesus approached them, and letting them know that he has all power, that he has all power in heaven and on earth, and that even in their doubt, their difficulty, he sends them to go forth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. 
Why would seven brothers and their mother be willing to be tortured with whips and scourges rather than violate God's law? Why would Dorothy, a young fourth century girl, go so willingly and gracefully to her, to her execution? Just like the disciples, it was the recognition of Christ's presence in their life. Behold, I am with you until the end of the age. I ask, have you had an encounter with Christ? In the midst of the pandemic, in the midst of a world losing its faith, do I, do you, seek a relationship with Christ. Before Mass, we had an opportunity, did you have the opportunity to sit with him for an hour in the Garden of Gethsemane as he remained present in the Blessed Sacrament on the altar? He was with Peter, James, and John on the night he was arrested. He said, pray with me for one hour. He was in such distress, Scripture shares, that he was sweating droplets of blood. After praying for a short time, he went back to his friends, his closest followers, and he found them sleeping. He says, get up. He says, pray that you might not undergo the test. Pray. And Jesus continued to play, pray while his disciples once again lost focus and fell asleep. He comes back and says, are, are you still sleeping? Don't you see the times that we're in? Don't you recognize what's going to take place? Get up. I need you to pray now. Pray for yourselves. Pray for everyone. He went back to pray, and once again, they drifted off to sleep. He goes to see them one last time, and he says, let's go. The time is now, and he's arrested and taken away. Where are my encounters with Christ? How do I seek him out? Do I seek him out? Do I take time to visit with him in the Adoration Chapel on a regular basis? Adoration Chapel here has been here, I believe, since 1993. Do I make use of it? We're still looking for a few guardians in the wee hours of the morning to spend an hour with Jesus in prayer. He says, come pray with me right now. Pray that you may not undergo the test. Outside of time and space, we too are with Jesus in the garden when we take time before the Blessed Sacrament. He's present there with us. We are present there with him. It's been said that Jesus was able to, to endure that evening, to endure the cross, because he saw us present here in this day and age, praying with him, just as he had asked his disciples. Will you open your, your mouth? Will you extend your hands as you come up to receive our Lord in the Eucharist today? When you hear the proclamation, the body of Christ, will you respond with a resounding amen? Yes, I believe. And receive Christ in your hands and consume him so that he can consume you. For it's in this relationship, 
in this relationship through the Eucharist that all things unfold. When we understand the true power of the Eucharist, we see, we experience these encounters with our Lord a bit more deeply. And it's from these encounters from which we too are sent. That we are sent forth to bring the kingdom of God here and now. It's only through enthusiastically sharing our encounters with Christ that some may get to know the Lord. They may never know him until you share your encounter with them. Have I told you about my friend? Have I told you about the Christ who changed my life? Who's transformed me? Who gifted us with a home here at St. Dorothy's in Glendora so that we could bring his presence to the ends of the earth. Each of us, each of us are called and sent by, the God, by God to bring forth his presence in this world. Just as was done by the seven brothers and their mother through their example to give everything. No, I'm not changing because that's what he asked of me. I don't care what you do, I don't care what you say, that's what he asked of me. Just as was done by our patroness, St. Dorothy, who went peacefully to her execution. No, I'm not going to denounce him, because I know who he is. He's touched my heart. He's moved me. And she shared his story, her story, with Theophilus, who in turn went to his execution because he met God through her. He met Jesus through her. Jesus says to each and every one of us here, go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. He says, don't be afraid. He says, for behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. My brothers and sisters, when we get, grab the hand of our Lord and we walk with the Christ, there's nothing that can stop us. There's nothing that can hold him back. My role is not to change the world. Your role is not to change the world. Your role is to introduce the world to Jesus and share your relationship with him. Jesus will change the hearts. Jesus will transform the world. But he sends us forth through each Mass, says, go. We, have a, as a community, have been sent on mission. As we celebrate this, um, the feast of our patroness, St. Dorothy of Caesarea, may we continue to grow in relationship with one another recognizing that God's people in this area, recognizing the needs of God's people in this area, how is he hoping that we will encounter them? Let us be an instrument in the hand of our Lord as we walk with him, making disciples in this corner of the world.
Let us rise and together profess our, our faith. And I encourage us today as we say these words, not just say them, but to pray them. And ask my heart, do these words sink into my being? Because it starts with, I believe. And ask myself, is that what I believe? I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Yes, I believe. Dear brothers and sisters, gathered as one to celebrate the good things we have received from our God, let us ask him to prompt in us prayers that are worthy of his hearing. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy, with the people entrusted to their charge, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For this faith community and those who visit us online, may God unite us ever more closely to one another and strengthen our desire to follow him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us can call to emulate our patroness, St. Dorothy's, by the way we live our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations in our faith community, for men and women, young and old, May God inspire them to follow his call, and may he give them the gift of understanding to discern their service in the church, in the priesthood, the diaconate, or consecrated life, especially our seminarians, Tommy Green and Enrique Peseno. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, and those who care for them. May they be comforted by our loving God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died. May their hearts find rest in the perfect light of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray in a special way um, for those in this community who, who give selflessly of themselves to share um, with this community, with this um, area around here, their encounter with Christ, whether they do it through their action or whether they do it through their word, that God may always give them the courage to stand up and continue to move forward. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for the special intention of this Mass, for the parishioners of St. Dorothy's and those who visit us. Also for those intentions in our book of prayer, 
for the sick and the dying, and for any other intentions we remember in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, who has given to those chosen the crown of martyrdom, grant us this grace that we who are celebrating the memory of your holy martyr Dorothy may be led nearer to you by her example. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our song for the preparation of the gifts is the Litany of Saints.
Sisters, that my sacrifice... Seniors, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set afire with the flame of your love through which St. Dorothy overcame every bodily torment through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, the blood of your blessed martyr Dorothy poured out like Christ's to glorify your name shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, we look forward to his second coming. We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed Apostle and glorious mothers, with St. Dorothy, and with all the saints, on whose conscience intercession in your presence we rely your unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation we praise, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pure church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose Gomez, our bishops, the other bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. This is Jesus. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be
Our song for communion is You Never Let Go. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, your perfect love is casting out fear. Even when I'm caught in the middle of the storms of this life, I won't turn back, I know you are near.
me in the garden where the roses ever grow where the harvest is abundant where living waters flow come meet me and the father he has called you each by name oh meet me in the garden from whence the roses came Meet me in the garden Where celestial fruits abound Where the hurting all find healing Where all the lost are found Come east in peaceful splendor Without sin and without shame oh, Meet me in the garden From whence the roses came Until then I'm looking downward Giving comfort on your way I will lay a path of roses Each and every time you pray so come gather at the altar lay your troubles at our feet and receive the love of Jesus where earth and heaven meet yes meet me in the garden at the table of the Lord where the wine and bread are offered where together we're restored in the garden I'll be waiting till together we exclaim come meet me in the garden from whence the roses came Yes, meet me in the garden from whence the roses Let us pray. That was beautiful. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Dorothy of Caesarea faithful in your service and victorious in suffering through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us say the prayer in time of the coronavirus. Holy Virgin of Guadalupe, Queen of the Angels and Mother of the Americas, we fly to you today as your beloved children. We ask you to intercede for us with your son as you did at the wedding in Cana. Pray for us, loving Mother, and gain for our nation and world and for all our families and loved ones the protection of your holy angels, that we may be spared the worst of this illness. For those already afflicted, we ask you to obtain the grace of healing and deliverance. Hear the cries of those who are vulnerable and fearful. Wipe away their tears and help them to trust. In this time of trial and testing, teach all of us in the church to love one another and to be patient and kind. Help us to bring the peace of Jesus to our land and to our hearts. We come to you with confidence, knowing that you truly are our compassionate mother, health of the sick and cause of our joy. Shelter us under the mantle of your protection. Keep us in the embrace of your arms Help us always to know the love of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Please be seated just for a couple of moments. Um, I do want to thank everybody who um, had a part in, in putting together the, the celebration today, um, from adoration all the way till now. The music, the environment, the altar servers, the 
um, everybody, thank you very, very much. I, I'm not going to name everybody because I know I'm going to miss um, two or three, but thank you from the lectors to, um, to the ushers, to the Knights of Columbus, um, to you who are sitting in the pews. But I do want to say one thing. I want to say um, thank you to Ryan Nierhoff. He probably didn't know that I was going to do this. <laughs> that last song that we sung after the, um, it, during the meditation after the Eucharist, he wrote that for today. Um, so thank you so very much. Um, for doing that. So he is allowing um, the presence of Christ to reach into his heart and reach out into um, those he encounters. So thank you so very, very much. Um, and then another thing I want to mention also is here we have the, um, the relic of St. Dorothy. Um, we've had it, I'm not sure when it came here. It came here before I did, but I know it's been a, a few years. I know, um, I know the parish that it came from in Rome is called St. Dorothy's. Um, it's run by the Franciscans, and when, um, when Mark McPherson was, who's back there in the blue shirt, he's waving to us now, was um, studying with the Franciscans, he spoke with the pastor there to see if we could get some of the bones, because they had the body, um, they had some bone fragments of um, St. Dorothy in their altar. Um, I was able to go to, to Rome and see Father Umberto there, and um, he said that seven different parishes had requested um, bones of St. Dorothy's all throughout the world and they were getting ready to, to refurbish um, the altar and they were going to break open um, the altar and they weren't sure if they wanted to give out any bones but they said as, as he said as they opened it there were seven fragments sitting off to the side so they sent off so we've got one of those fragments and I don't believe that they're going to be giving out any more so those are the last um, relics of St. Dorothy, which are bone fragments. Um, as Mass ends, we're going to invite anybody who chooses to, um, to come forward and, and venerate the, the uh, relic of St. Dorothy, and then process out that way. So um, after we do the closing prayer and the final blessing, um, please be, be patient. We're going to all come up um, one at a time. Don't spend too much time um, because there is a few people behind you. If you want to come back, you're more than welcome to. The relic will be um, on display here uh, until 2 o'clock. The Knights of Columbus are going to guard it um, closely. Um, so please come and pray. The, altar, uh, the, the ushers also have a, a little prayer card for you. I don't know if some of you have gotten it already. Um, it's got a prayer um, to St. Dorothy in the back. Maybe you can take a moment to say that prayer and then... Uh, move on. But thank you so very much for your presence. Know that you're always in my heart and in my prayers. Um, you make the um, community, the Catholic community in Glendora. We're called, as I said in my homily, to bring forth um, God's presence to those we encounter. So thank you so very much for everything. Please rise. The Lord be with you. Bow down for a blessing. May God the glory and joy of the saints who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers bless you with unending blessings. Amen. Amen. Freedom, freed through the intercession from the present ills and formed by the example of their holy way of life, may you be ever, devo be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbor. Amen so that together with all you may possess the joys of the homeland where Holy Church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This time I'm going to ask the Knights of Columbus to come forward. Will you please join us in singing, Sing with all the saints in glory.
Oh, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? Yeah, but I'll take these things back. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't, oh, you do the 12 o'clock? Yes. I do the 12. You're at 9.30, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So you set up for me. Thank you. Look <laughs> at this. This. All right, yeah, that would be, I was supposed to go yesterday and didn't get there. <gasps>
Thank you. 